Stem borers are one of the most damaging pests affecting rice crops worldwide. They are larvae of moths that bore into the stems of rice plants, causing significant damage and yield loss. There are several species of stem borers, including the yellow stem borer, the white stem borer, and the striped stem borer. Effective control of stem borers involves an integrated pest management approach, combining cultural practices, biological control, and chemical control. Among these methods, the use of synthetic insecticides is often a crucial component in managing stem borer populations, especially during severe infestations. Several synthetic insecticides have been found effective against stem borers in rice. Here are some of the most commonly recommended and widely used ones. One, chlorantranilipril. Chlorantranilipril is a diamide insecticide known for its effectiveness against stem borers in rice. It operates by targeting the rhinodyne receptors in the muscles of insects, causing an uncontrolled release of calcium ions. This results in muscle contraction, paralysis, and eventually the death of the insect. Chlorantranilipril is typically applied as a foliar spray or soil treatment and provides long-lasting control of lepidopteran pests, including stem borers. Its selective action means it has minimal impact on beneficial insects, making it a favorable choice for integrated pest management programs. Two, cartap hydrochloride. Cartap hydrochloride is a thiocarbamate insecticide and an analog of nerastoxin that disrupts the nervous system of insects by blocking nerve signal transmission, leading to paralysis and death. It is commonly applied as granules or foliar spray in rice fields. Cartap hydrochloride is effective against a variety of rice pests, including stem borers. It is known for being less harmful to non-target organisms and beneficial insects, thus supporting a balanced ecosystem within the agricultural environment. Three, chlorpyrifos. Chlorpyrifos is an organophosphate insecticide widely used for its broad spectrum control of pests, including stem borers in rice. It works by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase, an enzyme crucial for proper nervous system function, which leads to the disruption of nerve signal transmission paralysis, and death of the insect. Chlorpyrifos is available in formulations such as emulsifiable concentrates and granules, applied as foliar sprays or soil treatments. While it provides quick knockdown and residual control of pests, it is important to note that chlorpyrifos is toxic to beneficial insects and aquatic organisms, necessitating careful application to minimize environmental impact. Four, abamectin abamectin is an avermectin insecticide that enhances the release of gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA, at synapses, causing an influx of chloride ions and resulting in paralysis and death of the insect. It is typically applied as a foliar spray and is effective at low doses. Abamectin has a relatively low environmental impact and is particularly useful for controlling mites and insect pests. Its effectiveness against stem borers in rice makes it a valuable component of pest management programs, especially when used in rotation with other insecticides to prevent resistance. Five, Lambda Cyhalothrin. Lambda Cyhalothrin is a pyrethroid insecticide that disrupts sodium channel function in the insect nervous system, causing hyperexcitation, paralysis, and death. It is usually applied as a foliar spray and is known for its fast acting and broad spectrum activity. Lambda Cialothrin provides quick knockdown of pests, including stem borers, but it can be harmful to beneficial insects and aquatic organisms. Therefore, its use should be carefully managed to minimize negative impacts on non-target species and the environment. Six, Lufonuron, Lufonuron is a benzoylurea insecticide that inhibits chitin synthesis, 
which is essential for the insect's ability to molt and develop. This disruption leads to the death of the insect. Lufineuron is applied as a foliar spray or as a seed treatment and is highly effective against Lepidopteran pests, such as stem borers. It acts as a slow-acting insect growth regulator, disrupting the life cycle of pests with minimal impact on non-target organisms. This makes Lufineuron a suitable option for integrated pest management programs aimed at sustainable pest control. By understanding the specific properties and applications of these insecticides, farmers can effectively manage stem borer infestations in rice while promoting sustainable and environmentally conscious agricultural practices. At the end, theoclopred, thiamethoxam, and cypermethrin, either individually or when combined with the aforementioned insecticides, have been identified as effective methods for controlling stem borers in rice. Thank you for watching our video on pesticide info. Remember, when using pesticides, it's crucial to follow the recommended dosage and guidelines provided by the manufacturer. Always read the label carefully and use the product as directed to ensure effective and safe pest control. Always wear protective gear. Stay safe and protect your crops responsibly. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below.